everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. So it is Friday afternoon. We just got off work. Uh, it is a beautiful day out. Unfortunately, it's only 48 degrees. So we're in that time of year where it's uh, getting cooler. Um, work should be starting to you know, slow down a little bit. So I, uh, I think I'm gonna have some more time to get some more videos out, which is, which is really awesome considering I have all those shotgun shells sitting at home I need to uh, to test out, which is what brings me to today. I have a few of them in my backpack. Um, we're gonna head up to the Freedom Compound and see what kind of destruction these, these buggers can ring in. So I'll see you guys up there. All right, everybody. We are up here at the lead dump getting ready to conduct an experiment or two. So for this one, I uh, brought up the uh, Stevens 12 gauge shotgun. Uh, it's got an 18 and a half inch barrel, ideal for uh, home defense, pump action. And here's what we're gonna be shooting today. Um, so for any good experiment, you need your control group. So for our control group, we have our Fetter 12 gauge double lock double aught buckshot and uh, we're going to use these first we have some spaghetti squash cantaloupes and heads of lettuce we're going to see what kind of damage we could do with these I picked the lettuce and the spaghetti squash because they're a little bit more dense thought we might get some good destruction with those and then lettuce just because light and leafy good for wildlife I think that might be pretty cool so then for the specialty exotic shotgun shells, we have the flechettes, or however you say that, I, I don't know how. Uh, but these are the ones that they uh, contain darts. They were used in the Vietnam era to flush out snipers. So I thought these ones might be kind of cooler on like a head of lettuce or something, since they're made for, uh, for like brushy areas, I think. Yeah, heavy brush right there. Then we have the triple decker, where it's just uh, nine large bead balls. So these ones should uh, make some good damage. And then the Rhodesian jungle. That's these guys here. They have uh, some uh, some metal metal balls and then some smaller smaller shot in them. So I thought they might be. Pretty cool, but we'll see. So we're gonna go ahead and get these set up and, and test it out. So here we are. We have our spaghetti squash, head of lettuce, iceberg. It's nice, light, crisp, and our cantaloupe. We're gonna go get our 12 gauge shotgun loaded up with our double lot buckshot. And if you hadn't noticed, I'm doing something I've never done before. First person point of view. I think this will uh, this will be pretty cool. This is, this is kind of tough. All right. Double up buckshot. Ready to rock and roll. Spaghetti squash. <laughs> Lettuce. And cantaloupe. <laughs> that was cool. I think the cantaloupe was my favorite. Spaghetti squash. Lettuce. Okay, so we just regrouped our targets. We're gonna go, at, the gas can was for something else. That's not happening anymore. We're gonna go ahead and uh, let's do these ones. Make sure you guys can see them. Uh, if anybody can tell me how to say that word, that would be awesome. Foot, foot Yeah. Oh well. Let's see what it does. 
We got three of these shots, so let's make them count. Loading them up. Safety's off. And spaghetti squash. There was hardly any recoil to that at all. Actually, I'm putting the safety on. I want to see if I can see anything. Any little darts. And did a nice job on the damage. Uh, if that's something, but I don't know, that was kind of cool. Had a lettuce. Interesting. Just, it, it literally just blew a hole straight through it. I hope I'm getting this on a good angle. Okay. <laughs> and cantaloupe. That was an interesting round. Safety's off. And spaghetti squash. There was hardly any recoil to that at all. Actually, I'm putting the safety on. I want to see if I can see anything. Arts. And, oh, nice job on the damage. That's something. I don't know, that was kind of cool. Had a lettuce. Interesting. Just it, it literally just blew a hole straight through the hip. I'm getting this in a good angle. Okay. And cantaloupe. So with the spaghetti squash, kind of blew it apart down the middle. <gasps> I found one. Let me pull it out. It Oh, there's another one. It is literally a little metal dart. That is awesome. Look, there's another one. <laughs> That's so cool. So that they were not joking when they said little little metal darts. So for the head of lettuce, it just kind of put a nice hole right in the middle. Blew out the back. So I don't know if it was because of how close I was, but this, as well as the cantaloupe, just a hole straight through. Look, you can you can see a dart sticking in there. There's a couple more there. Those things would be pretty horrendous to get shot with. Okay, so we are pretty set with our targets again. We're going to use the Rhodesian Jungle. It's got some uh, big metal beads and some smaller shots stacked on top. There's actually uh, two layers. Let me. Sorry, I have to look into my phone while I'm doing this to make sure you guys can see it. You can see there, you got the two rows of metal beads and then the smaller shot on top. So we'll uh, we'll get loaded and see what happens. Spaghetti squash. That one, that one kicked hard. Nice damage there. There's nothing left of that thing. Well, this is good. I think the cantaloupe's gonna be real good. <laughs> yeah.
Yes. You're gonna squash. <laughs> that one. That one kicked hard. Nice damage there. There's nothing left out there. Good. I think the cantaloupe's going to be real good. <laughs> Alright, so the last round of targets has been set. We have our triple decker. Just uh, three, uh, three rows of just big BBs. And again, I'll give you guys a nice up-close view. There's nine little steel balls in there, so I'm assuming this one's going to kick pretty hard. Spaghetti squash. Okay, okay. Head of lettuce. That was a little less than satisfying. And cantaloupe. Cantaloupe's always good. You know, that was fun and all. But the wildlife don't have uh, utensils, so I think we need to uh, break this up a little more for them. Yep. Just out here feeding the wildlife. That'll do. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us. Um, we, well, we, I tested out three of the many exotic shotgun shells that I got. We did the uh, well, we did four, I guess. Uh, we did our control, which was just the standard double up box shot. We did the Fletches, or however you say them, the Rhodesian Jungle, and then the Triple Decker. Um, all of which I feel like were a lot of fun. Uh, they took care of the produce pretty well, and then, you know, just had to break it up there at the end with some more double up buck. You know, I, I don't want any of these animals around here to starve, so. Got to make sure there's there's enough carnage for everyone. So, thank you guys. Uh, I well, you know what? My results were were very very satisfactory. Um, I would recommend anybody try those out. They're fun. Uh, the the Rhodesian Jungle kicked the hardest out of those four, but it still wasn't anything that bad. Um, shoulder feels fine. Not going to be sore or anything tomorrow, so definitely check into getting those and uh, really looking forward to doing some more, some more testing. So thank you guys for tuning in to Gunpowder and Freedom. If you like what you saw, please click the like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.